Hey everyone, welcome to the 103rd episode of the Soto Pop Podcast. As always, I'm your host, the Frozen Stratos. Here with me today we have... Bum, 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 bum. I'm actually into Zinc Hydra more this week. <laughs> cool! Awesome! Good! We're there! Um, Unfortunately, once again, we do not have Josh, but to be fair... This is this is my fault because he was available to record on Monday, but I'm not. Either way, you don't need to know that. What you do need to know is that we have three whole blog posts to get through tonight. So, um, if we do not have a topic because there's there's too much news to get through, um, if we end up rushing through it, that's why. Um, so hey, mm, uh, uh, yeah, my my understanding just before we record is that we have some simping to get to. We do have some simping to get through. We finally have official looks at SMP Gal Muscle Striker. Um, and uh, this came to us, I believe, Tuesday, Wednesday, sometime during the week. Um, I could probably check, but oh, yes, yeah, 17th, the 17th, whatever mm. day that ended up being in May. That's a Monday. Um, so it was it was pretty neat. Along with it came the pre-orders for it that immediately went up on uh, Toku Lectables and then Im subsequently immediately sold out. Uh, nice. That's yeah. good news. For the people that were able to get it. Uh, thankfully, well, I, though, I mean, that's also good news for SMP. Because it that's means, true. oh, this is doing well. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, though, they did end up restocking it the next day, I believe, because when I checked on the listing again, they did have more in stock. So hopefully if you check back there again, we'll have the links in the description um, to where you can get it. Hopefully it'll be there. If not, we will still have links to um, just the P Bandai site so you can use whatever middleman service you would like to pick this up. So, um... Without dancing around it, let's finally talk about Gal Muscle Striker. Um, it is comprised of the five, uh, I don't want to call them spirit animals, but the the five uh, animals that they uh, have, the gorilla, the bear, the polar, the rhinos, and the majiro, uh, or armadillo. Um, and they look very good. Um, specifically, they wanted to start with, um, the gorilla who has his bananas and also has a clean ass. Hmm. Uh, when, when you guys, uh, were saying, oh, it, it seems that they're including the bananas with it. I thought it was a goofy little accessory thing, like a reference to an episode. This actually mm -hmm. looks kind of cool. It does. Yeah. Like they, they. In these CG renders, it looks like they're doing them up in this really nice gold. So I do wonder how they're mm -hmm. actually going to look in hand. Um, but hey, uh, let's let's talk about this clean ass, huh? Because um, what they wanted to mention was that the original, original DX toy uh, had this mounting point that, like, accordion up to, like, the butt area um and just sort of stuck out but here they decided to like accordion it all the way in beneath the pectorals on his back which is a strange sentence um and yep. just clean it up all around uh what that means is once you accordion it all back out um it affords you a lot more range of motion than you otherwise would have had and we'll talk about why that's pretty good uh later on um it also has more range of motion in the shoulders than uh, I think it had before in the DX toy. So that's cool. Um, next up, uh, we have a look at Gal Muscle Striker all combined and then just Gal Muscle. Uh, because actually, in this set, you don't just get Gal Muscle Striker. You do get Gal Muscle. Uh, because there are option parts available to give him just the pants of the bull and the eagle. So, uh, they will be a statically molded piece, but it will have, like, splayed out legs so that it is slightly posed. Um, on top of that, uh, you also get, uh, the anchor for Gao Striker, or Gao Muscle. Um, I just, 
I just noticed the anchor. Is that supposed to be the bananas? That is supposed to be the bananas, yes. That's um, fun. Yeah, it is. It's also using a chain, a metal chain, which is not... I want to say it's not new, but it's, you know, it's notable. Um, it also has a butterfly joint in the arms, which is really cool. You love to see it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then obviously, uh, Gal Muscle Striker, you can uh, recreate the soccer-esque pose. Uh, the armadillo can even fold up as it did in the show. Uh, the two bears are able to launch two cannons out of their mouths, which is not wasn't present at all on the DX toy. So is, this is the uh, very first 3D commercialization mm-hmm. of that play feature. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, this uh, overall... th- this this feels like the level of Soto Chronicle love being put into Sentai. Love to see it. Yeah, absolutely. And like it is a lot to do with I I think it's the same designers that worked 20 years ago on this working on this now. Um mm-hmm. in, in some capacity. And I, uh, you know, I do R R the Streets every week on Friday and we have this segment called uh uh likey that pricey it's basically the price is right except for we go on to mandarake look up a bunch of um uh uh listings there and play prices right with those items and what mm-hmm. we did this week was take a look at uh the original mini plot uh and those prices that they go for right now and um there is a, a stark contrast uh with how those were created um and I don't know, it, it was it was nice to to sort of get that perspective. We even have that a little bit in this blog with the initial Gao Muscle right next to uh the brand new Gao Muscle. Um Such an improvement. Such an improvement. Uh also we have like in hand prototypes that they did. Uh I assume this is a resin 3D printed item next to another prototype of Gao King and Gao King um is actually very close to done the the image that we got uh with it standing next to it I believe the differences that they're working out are um a new black sticker for Bison minor updates to the details and the color of the legs to be more natural um let's see what else here I Oh yeah, uh, Gao King is a sample that is almost final, except for the molding color of Gao Tiger. So that white is not going to be the final white of Gao Tiger. Um, Yeah, so keep those in mind. This is already up for pre-order for 42.50 yen, uh, and I believe it was on Tokyo Collectibles for a hundred something dollars. Um, Yeah, pick it up now. I, I I just scrolled to uh, the premium Bandai listing. It says eighty two fifty. What did I say? I thought you said forty two fifty. Oh, did I? I meant eighty two fifty. Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. My uh, bad. The, yeah. There's also See, whenever I'm, I'm I'm curious whenever... what the teaser is. <laughs> oh well, first off, I just wanted to mention whenever multiples of four show up, I usually somehow just default to four. Uh, the pr- also, the price of what? <laughs> yeah. Um. The sound of the whistle is echoing. That means no way. And people are speculating that it is um, Gao Silver's mech. So. Tokyuger! Because train whistle. Oh! No way! No, <laughs> <laughs> no that's accurate. No way. <laughs> um, yeah. I was. Uh, I think I asked this on the stream, actually. Um. Not to be confused with the streets, uh, where I was asking like how far along they are with Gal Ranger now that they've got two mecha. I just pulled it up. You got Gal Hunter, which I'm assuming that's the the sixth ranger. I believe so. Yeah. Mm. Then you have Gal Icarus and Gal God. That sounds like a final form if I've ever heard them. Well, Gal Icarus is built up of, uh, I believe, a hawk a giraffe like the a torso and two arms that we don't yet have and then the legs mm. of it are the rhinoceros and the, the oh, armadillo. so it's just okay so it's just existing combinations 
Yeah. Yes. Well, like pile everything. Well, not up. existing because there's a there's a hawk. Uh, I don't know which bird. It's a different bird. Falcon. Uh, a falcon. Like. Falcon. Yeah. Uh. Mm. So basically, they gave us legs for it. Gal muscle striker isn't technically like the main. Uh, this is what I've heard. It isn't the main combination. The main combination is supposed to be Gal muscle or Gal striker, which is. Uh, Gao King with the different pants or the different um, chest. Right. So, so Gao, Gao God, it looks like it's all new parts. That I don't know. That I don't know too much about. Ga- Ga- Gao um, Leon, Gao Condor, Gao Saw Shark, Gao Buffalo, and Gao Jaguar. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, I guess that's all new. And um, uh, that something after that looks like it's also just existing parts. I'm seeing lion, falcon, shark, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, and then a movie form, which I I think I remember someone saying that's probably not going to happen. Fair. I I do remember. I I forget if it was Gal Ranger and uh, Hurricane Ranger where they got to swap arms. Oh. I don't remember though. Either way. There's- there's probably something here. Uh, the, the Super Sentai Wiki, or Power Rangers Wiki, has a category that's just Mecha from Gal Ranger. Fair. Yeah, I don't know. I, um, I can't wait for other people to get this. I will never mm. own this. I, <laughs> I would like to at some point, I guess, but it's not, like, high priority. It does look cool, though. Um, yeah. I'm excited to see what other people are... Uh, are going to be thinking about see, it. See, see, not now you're in in my uh, camp when it comes to all premium Bandai stuff. Where I'm like, I'm just glad it exists. Yeah, definitely. Like that. This is an area where like um, I'm not as big on Mecha, because uh, like I I I don't know that I really like premium grade Mecha. If I if I want Mecha, if I get Mecha, I want. I want like really chunky plastic that you could just slam together um, and have a really solid connection with. I don't need like the little micro adjustments that you have to do with ah. these. So um, there's yeah, I'm, there's also there's also another Shokugan modeling project post, but it's not Toku related. So do we care? We do not because we have <laughs> two more posts to get through tonight. That's true. Um, all all yeah. I had to say about it is, hey, it seems it comes with a figure. Which... It does, yeah. Which uh, it's people pretty. are thinking look like C three PO at a first glance. <laughs> <laughs> like I saw the message pop up on my phone. Oh wow, they're doing uh, SMP C three PO. What is what is this? What even? It? Oh, okay, fine. All right, good. It's Ooh. not that for real. Thank I'm you. <laughs> the the only thing of interest for me is when I'm looking at the figure. It's like. Those hands look a little bit like y- Yudo hands, so it's like, what what scale is this? Oh, I mean, I, I believe the last time they did a figure of that size, they did say that it was around Soto Yudo scale. Like, they did nice. actually say that specifically. So, hmm. anyway. Yeah. Um. Also, uh, something that came out this week, and we won't be talking about it, uh, but going forward, I feel like we can. Mm-hmm. Anime Gear Double Edge had a a blog post. Um, yeah. Uh, do you have? I mean, we can talk about it next week since this week is so packed. But do you have a a, a little highlight uh, from from that post? Oh yeah. Uh, watch our last stream. <laughs> oh, okay. Because <laughs> uh, there, I actually, uh, you know, I will say actually. Um, the thing that's really neat about the Slave's Post is that it has a comment from the designer of Anima Gear, and it also links to their Twitter account. Yes, so go that's follow cool. them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I well, like it when next designers week, get representation. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey! Soto! Mm-hmm. We're doing yeah. it! Soto Chronicle! And uh, we even got stuff this week that we were not expecting... Are- yeah, are, are you just... sure this is Soto? Because I see them talking about Goku here. That's true. Yeah, Goku and his arms. His massive, massive arms. Mm. That's what the large, large, large is all about. 
Um, mm, that's uh, it randomly reminded me. Figure Eyes did this ridiculous uh, again back when they did, called it Master Grade. They did a kit with Goku where the, one of the gimmicks was that his his bicep kind of bulges out a little bit when you bend the arm. Dude, that I I remember that distinctly. That is really cool the way they were able to do that. It's kind of like you know with what? Transformers how they used I to think... do the Mecha Live yeah. stuff. Oh my god. You know what? We Good need a Toka stuff. character who has like a muscular gimmick like that. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but hey, what we do have today uh, is our first in-hand look at uh, Soto Chronicle Gaim 3. Or uh, for everybody who knew it uh, as Gaim was going out, Soto Chronicle Yoroibu 3. The large, um, large, to... large, large, comma, general. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad to see uh, not only Yoroibu coming back around, um, I also like seeing foreign affairs whenever that shows up, because that's <laughs> always funny to see in regards to Gaim. I just um, I just noticed this one too. Oh, Load Baron, not Road Baron. Load Baron. Ooh, also, Load Baron. Ryugen, with the capital G, Yomotu F Gris Arms. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a letter F somewhere in there on its own. By the way, um, you might not want to uh, uh, lean on that pillar behind you. That's a load baron pillar. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> <be>. <laughs> hmm. Hey, one thing that I, I'm curious if they talked about it. You could let me know. Um, sure. Did they address the fact how the armor and body is going to be split up in these boxes? Because it made me that that discussion came up in the Discord, and it made me realize, oh, this is one of those ways where the promo photos that they gave just showed the complete figures. I guess they didn't, didn't really, you. they didn't really uh, do a do a parts breakdown. What what mm. was what was the why was it so contentious? If you don't uh, mind me just just the idea of whether or not Kiwami Arms is going to be part of the form change gimmick because it it does look like the armor on the chest splits front and back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm also, sure the chest will be interchangeable, but the shoulders, I don't know. Oh yeah, um, and also because like the the, the arms action figure could do it because that was the 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 way that that line worked. That's true. Yeah, but fun fact: the six inch figure line really couldn't do it because uh the way they handled it is that uh kiwami arms was slim enough that they just had some tabs on the shoulders for the cape mount mm -hmm. and the idea was you would remove those and then hey you can put on other armors on top of kiwami arms but that meant that you couldn't really give anyone kiwami arms chest you could oh, only give them right, the cape. yeah mm -hmm. they, you couldn't even give them the full cape you could just give them the little cape tabs <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, if, if Soto if Soto can make this uh, uh more modular, I'm all for it. True, yeah, absolutely. Uh my only worry uh for that prospect is like um the the chest that we have, I wonder if it's like molded specifically to fit only him. Cuz it well, it that, you that's know the thing goes is that... down sort of. Well, that's the thing, is that Gaim specifically seems like it's built to be more modular than the other Soto Chronicles lines. I agree, yeah. But hey, um, what sets this figure apart, though, is the amount of paint. This is, and I, I feel like we say this a lot, the most amount of paint on a Soto Chronicle figure that they've ever done. But yes, also overwhelming paint. Mm -hmm. Um yeah it's it's gorgeous. Uh Ooh. they they cite um so basically as D-Man was working on this figure he was stressing about oh man how the heck am I going to do all this silver on Kiwami? He looks over uh to the cubicle next to him where G-Man is is playing with Dragonic Knight, a an in hand sample prototype of Dragonic Knight, and he's like, "Wow, that silver is pretty. I want that." And then he did it. The wow. man did it. So you can thank 
uh, regular Soto for this beautiful piece of work. Um, Synergy. Yes. Yes. I don't know. I love it. I The silver is striking like he's talking about. I, I cannot get over it. It's so reflective and almost chromey. I'm all about this. I'm so happy with this. Even um, covering the joints, I hope that's not a problem, but it looks good. I'm sure it'll be fine. There are no parts where it, it like, immediately collides. Yeah, well, right? I, I'm, th- I'm thinking of it like, speaking for myself as someone who paints my figures, uh, I have definitely run into a thing where if you paint over that hinge, th- there might be a slight chance of it cracking. Sure. Depends on sure. how the paint reacts. <laughs> yeah. But I, I gotta imagine they, they, they're using better techniques than I am. <laughs> yeah, like a whole factory. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, they also started talking about you know what uh, maximizing what they could do uh, with seals and with paint um, and with the eyes. Obviously, that's gonna be a uh, sticker detail. And they even went back and forth with the factory and trying out multiple different patterns on the eyes. Uh, to get that as close to the show as possible. Um, we also have... <sighs> it's a tragic-looking sticker on his chest, just because of how many unfortunate folds it seems to, to have in it. Does it. Is it ripped? Kind of? Um, Do you, have look, you seen uh, that? Hmm. I'm looking at the close-up of it. Um... I see a big wrinkle, but that's about it. Yeah, and I can't tell if the wrinkle is a rip or just a wrinkle. But oh, you I know guess, what? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're looking at the, uh, the, the close-up on the chest then? Yeah. There you can see the separation line for the front and back of the armor. Like yeah. Like where yeah, the yeah. cape tab is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, that cape tab sticker looks like it's lifting a little bit. Yeah, but to to be fair, to its credit, like we always say, these are pre-production yeah. stickers, and they, they stick different. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, new molded belt, uh, got the stickers on those, um, and new molded shoulders, because, hey, they don't do shoulders the same way as the regular arms action, or uh, as the regular uh, Soto Chronicle Gaim figures do. So yeah. there is um, the, the, what we've seen before as the, um, I guess shoulder pad swivel hinge. Hmm. Swivel it's hinge. I it, just before just before we got this uh, blog post, I think it was Blade Raider in the Discord specifically wondering how they will handle this, and it is interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, huh. Yeah, I mean, like, there's there's really no other way I could conceive of them doing it outside of maybe pegging it into that rectangle, but I feel like that rectangle is there for, for like, air to flow in and make that mm-hmm. ball joint work properly. Um, I, I could see them just adding one of those hinges onto that cape mount. It would just, it th- wouldn't look as good as what they decided to go with. I agree. Um, I also I, I also think this works really well for just making articulation look really good. Yeah. Yeah. They Probably also talked about how um you know this sort of mounting point and this sort of shoulder pad is a lot like how zero one is supposed to look with the shoulder pad like right up against the shoulder. Mm. Um so it would have been interesting to see zero one tackle it differently like slightly differently hmm. like that um uh, hmm. uh, now, now you got me thinking two things could happen uh one definitely gonna happen is that someone's gonna read that and be like oh i need to get an extra of kiwami arms to do a custom the other thing that could happen maybe not as likely is that they might do this for realizing hopper that is definitely not as likely the first part i don't know uh, if you can engineer that to make that happen. Well, 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 all it really requires... Oh, wait, wait, yeah, I forgot about the ball joint. Never mind. Yeah, it, I mean, That's going to require a lot joint. of work. It's, it's also the butterfly joint hanging out there, too. Yeah. Um, 
Hmm. But yeah, I well, don't know. If you're if if you're the type of person who wants your zero one to look more proportional to the uh, official suit, um, then you would probably be the one who would put that much work into it. This isn't build. Hey, um, we got a cape and it looks good. Now, you know me. My favorite candy toy cape of all time was the uh, uh, Kiwami Arms, uh, Gaim Arms, chain, Arms Action. Arms Action. Yes, Arms Action Gaim Kiwami Arms cape. Uh, this is not the same. It's all right. Uh, I don't know. I the way the other one mounted it was far more interesting and fun and like chunkier. But I understand like you know sleekness and stuff. Uh, mm. And this is definitely sleek. You can also, and they say it here. Um, in the main story, the cloak was removed from the Overlord Grinsha opponent, and a tactic like a bullfighter was shown. So it is possible to reproduce it. Sure. You can indeed make Kiwami Arms a bullfighter. Hmm. I I was looking at the photo. Just I I forgot about that, but that makes sense. I was looking at the photo, thinking I feel like I've seen the shot anytime they do a cave. That's true. Yeah. Because they always tend to stand on their own and do the whole uh, Doctor Strange thing. Uh... <laughs> oh, maybe that's why. Maybe. Maybe. Uh. We had, we got a bunch of uh, hand options. The, oh man, the stickers! Oh god, <laughs> they're fine. They're fine. Uh, we also have a new hand option for Kachidoki, actually, uh, because he gets a lock seed holding hand uh, packed in here, and you can even recreate the Kishi or Shikishi art uh, that they did, which looks Yee. beautiful. Uh, specifically um, for Kiwami arms, um, well, hey, I guess technically the figure you would use is Kachidoki arms. I ended up printing a bunch of little stands to uh, put the arms action armor onto. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Weapons. Yes. Oh, it comes with both. It does come that. with both Die Die DJ Jew. Um, mm -hmm. And I mean, like, you know, Kiwami... Uh, Kachidoki came with them. This makes sense. Uh, but those aren't the only weapons that this blog had to talk about because we Ooh. still have both weapon sets. Um, it's rather extensive. Uh, I, I don't. I don't need to go through and list them. You can. You can view them in the links in the description because they're all, you know, part of that. Needless to say, it is very comprehensive um even the second set uh, and we've said this before it comes with weapons you already own like uh the standard gaim sword dai dai dj ju in both modes and the sonic arrows in both modes but it comes with the added bonus of having lock seeds attached so these are slightly different and i appreciate them giving you different options I always love to see it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff. Good, good, good on you, Soto. Thank you for this. Yeah. I, because I'm definitely not like, you, you don't have to compete with me when it comes to premium Bandai sets. I'm just not going to be going for them. So what I'm doing is just getting the arms action figures. And uh, I, I'm not into the old way of doing candy toy weapons where it's like, let's just ca cast this in a color. And not add any stickers or paint. <laughs> so, this is definitely... All these weapons are going to my arms action figures for sure. Hell yeah. How how are you going to handle the Sonic Arrows? I, You know what? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's probably... The, the, fact that, the fact that they're already red is already a step up from the... Uh... True. Oh, I get what you mean. Because of the hands. Uh, hmm. I wonder... Well... You well, know how the shoulder the, pads work? The shoulder pads? How Soto shoulder pads work. Yes. I wonder if you could do that. Just like snip off that little area and make little humps. 
Or we, just we even shave cover. it down into a peg shape. Oh, you mean the little handle thing? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, the thing that I was uh, planning on for arms action, it might still take a while because uh, I, I want to make sure that, that it works well enough to, that I can actually like start printing them and painting them. But I mm -hmm. wanted to make arms that for arms action. Oh. That actually have swappable hands. And are basically like Soto arms. Very nice. So maybe I will be able to uh, figure out hands that can hold these. Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, You have a pretty good template anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So... Uh, that is it, I believe, for Gaim. Next week, we will be taking a look at the rest of these. Um, the rest? All at once? They said, um, oh. we're planning to introduce the remaining lineup next week. Please look forward to it. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, I mean, technically, the, the thing... we got through half of the set this week, so it makes sense That's that we'll true. do another half next it's just, it feels weird because I remember a time where it would just be like, here's one figure, here's another figure, here's another. But True. I guess they're, they're getting close to the release date. So they got they are, yeah. it out there. Um, also, for, before we talk about this next thing, I will say, again, our Discord likes to, to make predictions about what we're going to actually see next time. And mm. uh, I don't think any of us expected this one. Yeah, nobody. Uh, they didn't even announce this either, or, like, tease it, because we got our first in-hand looks at Ryuki, and I guess they were just so excited that they did this, because they didn't go too far in-depth with it. Um, uh, these samples, they're still making adjustments to. Uh, let's see, we are still making adjustments, but we have a sample that is close to the product as possible. The red compound mm. eye reproduction reflected from the clear visor looks very good. From this picture, gotta say, looks a little weaker than I was hoping. Uh, but I do understand the intent. I do see the intent. I think it might just be the angle that we're at. Um, uh, but I, the I would, strips... I would say... For for me, it seems like with Ryuki, the uh, the compound eyes behind the visor is al always just a subtle thing. So I thought it looked all right. That's true. I just think I think the lines, at least to my eye, are a little like shaky. Hmm. Um. Bit. Yeah. So you know, it's whatever. It's a it's a prototype. I, I'm not gonna hmm. pass full judgment on it. Uh, we also have our very first looks at Drag Redder. Which is uh, notable because we don't typically get P Bandai like in hand stuff until closer to the release, and this doesn't come out for for months. I think. Hold yeah, on, they. I I did catch this part. They they specifically said like because we ba they basically said we feel that the mirror monsters are pretty integral to Soto Ryuki, so we wanted to see mm -hmm. about ordering a uh, sample for this review. Yeah. That's neat. So yeah, it, yeah, it looks really, really good. I I appreciate them letting us know the final product will also be red. <laughs> It'll be a different red. Mm. Um, like, they're still working oh, on that. Speaking of red, I was just looking at a close-up of Ryuki. Um, yeah, that looks a little bit more like the standard plastic color. Uh, or the, the standard plastic uh, kind of gloss. I mm -hmm. was hoping from the the initial images we got that there would be kind of a, a duller look to it, but that's fine. It could change. I mean, they could do yeah. that thing with O's that they did where they they typically yeah, that's do a, a yeah a polishing pass, and for O's they just skip the polishing pass. Um, mm. So we'll see. But I am excited. It, it wasn't too much. It was just a little snippet, and I'm very excited. Um, yeah. These are all available for pre-order still, so if you haven't, definitely get your hands on these. I don't know if Toe Collectibles has them, but I'll try to provide links if I remember to. Um, anyway, that is it for this week. Like I said, we will be talking about uh, the rest of Gaim next week, as well as um, that character will make you smoke. Maybe? <laughs> okay, when See I saw that, I was just like, 
smoke. Smoke. I haven't caught up on save, or what the hell is that in reference to? Sabella, apparently. Oh, yeah, 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 because she turns into smoke. Oh, okay. Also, yeah. very funny out of context. This one will make you smoke. It's like, what, the, yes. what, what traumatizing thing are you going to throw at us? I know, right? <laughs> That's how the Yudo team feels right now. Ooh, wow. Great transition, my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get there. Let's talk about Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger Yudo. It's, and like, within, within the first few lines of this blog, hey, I'm Marota. We're doing this. I'm sure some of you have already seen, I'm sure some of you already have Change Heroes, which have been on sale since March at the toy department. Because Oops. Yudo has, also has a slightly different charm. I hope you'll be interested in seeing this blog. Let's go mm -hmm. now. So, right off the bat, they address uh, the, the Change Hero series, which I really wish they would have done a side by side and you know but i i do also understand taking another toy line within your company to task is probably not the best look um so you know uh let's let's talk about these the first thing they wanted to talk about is the packaging uh i mean it's packaging they make a big deal out of it like the the boxes that are you know, two characters to one box, they did uh, end up making those look like they should be all together. And the backs are different. They look like they are, uh, uh, you know, all in one portrait. It's, uh, what, horizontal instead of vertical? Mm. Uh, yeah. What did they say? Uh, landscape design. Yeah. Um, it's got nine nine boxes obviously we already knew that uh, but the boxes are going to be thicker than yudo has ever been before um then uh we have the roll call that they did and they always do uh kikai sentai zenkai d catcher over you know the one um my favorite a fa my favorite uh also uh after after that whole thing that they just did we have some sticking points. I like these because these aren't just highlights. These are things, these are issues they ran into during production. <laughs> I, and this is, this was the coolest part of the vlog to me. Yeah, I was about to say, it's very funny that when, when Soda does it, it's all about creating hype. And here it's like, we're just venting. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have issues. Actually... This week's Soto vlog was technically about venting, but, uh, <laughs> uh, hey, uh, the first point, they increased the amount of colors or the amount of paint on, uh, the Yudo figures, or at least from Zenkaiser versus every other Yudo figure. Um, Kido uh, Major is their, their point of comparison so far. Yeah. Which they dropped the X of Yudo X and we've talked about this before, but huh. they did not, they didn't say anything about that i didn't even um, notice it <laughs> yeah uh which i guess it sort of makes sense because zen kaiser is just you know his own thing now yeah. right like there's no other figure to really say hey this is what yudo is now right like mm -hmm. everyone's a new mold so it's all different but well, there are bit. yeah there are more paint apps on here, um, and they said, so this was a confusing sentence. In the first place, Zenkaiser has many colors, and the amount of stickers is large. However, I cut down the cost to make the hero as attractive as possible and turned the cost to coloring as much as possible. So I think hmm. they were able to, like, lower the cost in other areas to add paint elsewhere. Is what yeah, I'm, I'm I'm getting out hmm. of this. Uh, hmm. As many colors, the amount of stickers is large. I guess they must have. I guess the reasoning must have been, whatever money was going into adding more stickers to the sticker sheet, we were able to kind of inch that more towards paint. I don't know, cause like 
we have a two box system for some of these now. I'm mm. wondering if oh, I'm yeah. I'm wondering if they were actually able to save money. I mm, made that... two boxes. Do you think that Zenkaiser is a ride plus budget? Like he's a night rogue. The impossible frame, as they call it. Where it's like, where where it's like, where where it's just like, this is one figure to a box, but we kind of cranked up the budget a little bit. But then you'd have to say the same thing for Magine. Oh, yeah, I guess. Well, yeah. Let's say it then. (laughs) I don't know. I I don't know. I have no idea. Did, that's, that's did this figure is... suck up the budget? Maybe. Hmm. I that that's my theory is that because a majority of these are split between two boxes, maybe they could be like, we can kind of justify it since we're not going to do this very often. The next time will probably be two Kaiser, maybe Star Caesar if they do it. Stay Caesar. I I think we have a good chance. Oh my God! We also have to talk about that. So we'll talk about. Mm-hmm. The new Udo two listings after Ooh. this, <clears throat> so don't worry. We do. We will talk about it. Ooh, um, right. All right. Uh, hey, sticking point two, the modeling, the molds. Yeah. Hey, you know Sentai. Some dudes, some ladies. You're good. Those are the only two molds yeah. you need to make, and some new helmets. All you need to do. Except here, everybody is a new mold, mm. even. Uh, Juron and Gaon, who are more or less the same shape, everywhere they could, they had a brand new detail on them. Mm -hmm. Uh, so they went, they went all out on those. Um, Mr. G, is that you? (laughs) (laughs) Well, actually, maybe a little bit, because (laughs) even the arms, like the elbows and knees, got a Soto Saber upgrade. Where uh, they have a more flush look uh, to the arms and legs. And I remember talking about this when yeah. we had initial images and we were comparing and con- contrasting um, Change Hero series versus Yudo and what we knew. And that was something that stuck out to me too. So I wonder if it'll have a substantially different feel, if this will feel like more of a Soto figure. Because you've handled Yudo. Some yeah. some feels a little different, right? They feel um, a little bit gangly. They do. So I wonder if this might help. I'm not sure. Um, either way, uh, they refurbished it to make it smooth. Um, another thing, sticking point three, color coding. So what they were able to get away with was, all right, we'll pump out a character with one molded color, and then we'll just have the paint and stickers do the rest. You can't do that here. Because everybody, like, the stickers and paint can only do so much. So what they did instead was, instead of, you know, uh, making one mold per character, they made one mold per color. And that means you get your silvers and blacks all over uh, the main colors of each figure. Uh, and it looks like it's something that I didn't even, that hadn't even crossed my mind. I didn't even notice the first time around, but it's absolutely true. And we even talk about in Soto how, um, the budget goes up for, for Saber even, because he took like three or four different molding colors. Um, and these guys each have around two to three, um, Majin even had, uh, her arms. I just imagine. uh, I, I just imagine, uh, uh, after everyone gets off of work at Mandai, just the, the Yuta guy is just sitting at a bar next to the guys in charge of Soda, and it's just like, how do you do this day to day? Hey, also, uh, Majin was supposed to be different than what we actually got, uh, because her arms were not supposed to be molded in silver, but at the last second... Um, let's see. Until the very end, I negotiated with the manufacturer and managed to place the parts in the silver molding color mold. Mm. So, they were fighting for it. Like, Majin would have almost been all pink. Uh, but I guess they moved that mold over to silver. It looks good. I appreciate it. Um, 
All right, sticking point four, repair of set contents. So this is this is interesting because they noted some some difficulties for uh, Yudo collectors. Um, in previous series, it was all about one hero and then all the weapons and the different hands would be in a different box. But, oh, and there was also uh, a point of reflection that they had where, huh, there's not enough part sets to go with the figures. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Um, and they wanted people to uh, freely buy Yudo uh, without having dashed play potential without those accessories. Um, mm. So what they did in this instance was um, the two figures that you get just right out of the box, um, uh, 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 Zen Kaiser and Majin, those guys will have um, their geartlingers with them they will just come with their geartlingers and they will have an accessory right off the bat whereas the figures that come uh two boxes for a figure those guys are going to come with their uh geartlingers and their hands so you get everything uh nice. in one go, or you get enough in one go yeah, because uh, uh i recently got a uh, reusal read from you and then realized as i opened it well, it's at least a goodie. It comes with a sword. It doesn't come with his hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I mean, hmm. I don't know. Personally, I'm fine with, like, the the the, the stripped-down sort of experience. Something about option hands and, like, storage and upkeep. Some about that doesn't scream toy to me. Does that make sense? That's, that sounds like hmm. collectible item. I was about to say, I'm used to it because of figure arts, but I can see that. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're a kid, you're losing that day one. Like, mm-hmm. kids even lose hands on Star Wars hands uh, that, like, you know, they just leave the arm. They just leave the forearm. And you just don't have any more. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like kids don't typically go for option hands. They just, oh, this one holds the thing. That's all I need. You know what yeah. I mean? And I can just pretend that the digits are doing whatever they do. Um, but, you know, once you are supplied with options, then you want more options, because then you are expected to have a physical representation of those hand movements. Whereas if, you, if you're if you not given any options, it's just what you have, and that's it. You're good. You know? Mm. I don't know. It's it's a whole discussion because I feel like the presence creates the expectation. But uh, let's. I'm, oh, what's I'm, confu- I'm confused by the the bullet points because it it presents two at once. It's presenting number five and number seven. Yes. And then next I, it goes to number eight. I don't know why they skipped six. Oops. But they did say sticking point five proportion. Sticking point seven movable which i assume means articulation and they said i will introduce these two at once um so uh these guys do not have a transformation gimmick um and that is not because uh they wanted to avoid butting heads with the change hero series it's because what yudo is built on is articulation and sculpt basically um I was about to say, the concept of courage and movement, and we, we're not cowards who need to have a form change gimmick. <laughs> Actually, the full quote is, this is because the main purpose is to reproduce the brain concept of courage, movement, and courage at full <laughs> throttle. Ooh. That might be a contender for a title as well. Courage, movement, and courage at full throttle. <laughs> we got plenty of options here. Um, mm-hmm. And you've got plenty of options for posability uh, because Juron, his um, his shoulder pad moves out of the way so you can move his arms outward. Uh, he he has a really nice generous splits uh, that is accommodated by uh, the the feet and the uh, side skirts. You've got you know they wanted to make it so that these guys can have lively poses, and it works out like it really does. Um, 
and, and also they wanted to reproduce the, the the volume that is unique to these guys and it, i think it comes across I, I, was, I thought you were about to reference the, the image of rune split in half i was about to say is that in reference to something I have no idea. I was just going to skip it because I don't understand it. It also has a caption of, I'm going to clean it! I, for the life of me, I cannot tell what this is about. And what it, Was it from an episode today? Did I just... That might have been a today thing, actually. I'm just going to say, that's another title. I'm good at cleaning. I'm Two good at cleaning. Points. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say that this is a very, very, very light spoiler for today's episode. Apparently, the Rekka dies onto appears. I'm told that that kind of happens with two Kaiser, but apparently it happened again. Interesting. That I don't know under what context. I saw Taka from Kotetsu Toys tweeting about the episode. Hey, all he I really mean... Said, all he really said was, Rekka dies onto. So. That's Interesting. That, I mean, that synergy. might be that synergy you were talking about. Yeah. Ah, that's so cool. That's like, really, really cool. I, again, I don't know the context. All I know is when I saw it, I was just like, oh, hey, synergy. Yeah, man, I like, I really wish Yudo was a, a weekly post so that we could get a moment like that where like, hey, we can't recreate any of the gear, um, you know, the, the gear things that happen. But mm. if you head on over to Soto, they really did yeah. nice. They really did this nice recognizanto that you could use for your Zen Kaiser. Anyway, unfortunately, that, well, well, we'll get to it. But September, anyway. September. Wave two won't come out until September. Was that? I mean, yeah, but. They can't really do weekly posts because they kind of go in and out so uh frequently. Oh, I, I just meant like Sentai in general. Right. Like did, okay. does we, you know. That's true. <clears throat> Maybe. Uh the stick point 8. Yes, item part set. Uh everyone gets their weapons in the correct colors. Even Gaon has a painted claw. Can you mm. believe it? Oh, I was shit. staring at that just like Okay, what part of this is stickers? <laughs> None part. None part of it is stickers, except for the sword tail. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so, Gowan has two mounting points, actually. You can mount it onto uh, his shoulder pad or his forearm, uh, or his hand, whichever one you want. Uh, Majin has three mounting points for her uh, her staff. She can ride it like a... Uh, a broom or she could just wield it like a staff like you do um and then for gaon and or juron and vrune's weapons those are slightly bigger than even the uh mini pla so mm -hmm. that's cool speaking of mini pla you can do a very unfortunate thing if you would like you can make some mistakes at your own risk. <laughs> you can. Would you like a more articulated version of the mini plot individual zords? You can have it at a cost. You can put the lower half of each of these figures and merge them in different ways with the mini plot. You can even yeah. transform Gaon and Juron in this state. Um, if you want. If you want. These are... <sighs> for, for what they're doing, it's cool that you can do it. Absolutely. Majin looks horrified. <laughs> that, I, okay, so I don't think we can really uh, explain this without actually having these toys in hand, but apparently there is a risk. Of doing this? Yes, there is. Um, please enjoy it at your own risk without forcibly installing it. Like, a lot of these combinations that they made, some of the parts aren't seated in all the way and all that stuff. Like, these aren't technically official, but you can do them. <laughs> and they, they note this as, oh, hey, this is a, you know, a unique collaboration with Miniplaw. 
this is just, this is all just part of marketing. It it doesn't look good at all. <laughs> I was about to say it's it's interesting choice of wording. A unique yeah. combination. Yeah. Oh, wow. These are en- engage in your delusions. Oh boy. Yeah, the delusion being delusion. that these actually look good. Um. <laughs> hey, that's it. Fill out the surveys. These go. These are uh, these retail for four fifty yen each, or four ninety five with tax, which is strange, right? That's weird, because I thought the whole conceit of candy toy was that food was not taxed, huh? And I don't know why these are being taxed unless hmm. something changed due to COVID. I don't know. I never thought about that. I wonder if that depends on like where you're buying it from. I I guess. Like, like maybe maybe online sellers have their own way of doing things. Oh, maybe maybe because all the premium Bandai stuff that comes with tax, like whether it's right. Kanye or not. So. Mm. Oh, you know what? They do sell retail stuff on premium Bandai, so there is that. They do, yeah, absolutely. So maybe mm. tax included in reference to if tax is being applied if you're getting this this at a supermarket maybe not i have no idea i'm not in japan this doesn't apply to Mm. us anyway um yeah there's there's i I was talking to someone about this recently when i was doing uh the the tumblr writer news blogs uh there would be some news where it's like oh hey uh i i would actually like post a link that i find interesting where it's like oh hey toei is looking for extras for the the new writer movie if you live in japan you can probably read this link that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do wonder. Mm-hmm. Candy Toy is sold outside of Japan. Here. Yeah. I wonder if... How shall I word this? If you went to purchase a candy toy and they charged you... Because, ta- like, here in, in the U.S., we don't get taxed for food, right? sure technically a point could be made to where we wouldn't have to be taxed on those items Hmm. right i'm not saying you argue with the clerk (laughs) but a a case could be made potentially if you were if you were feeling karen enough that week Mm. month year however long you want to drag this out a case could potentially be made that yeah, but I I think it's cool. I think the idea is cool that that's the reason it's a candy toy. But on the uh, flip side of it, I'm looking at it like I could see average Joe who's working at retail who doesn't really know this stuff is just looking at it like this is clearly not food. Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. I like agree. These, there, I, agree. I don't. There's not even a single image on the packaging that shows what it comes with in terms of food. There's a tiny little That's bit of text. That's true. It never shows. Yeah, I, you're right. Pretty, like I, I can't read Japanese, but maybe there is a little thing. There's like probably a little bullet point somewhere that says contains this. Like we talked about how there's an expiration date. Sometimes. Some on some. Th- yeah, there was. I what I thought was an expiration date on the old Kiva, uh, mm. you know, FA figure. Right. Regardless, uh, I I could see how like the the candy toy aspect might be a moot point depending on how informed you are about the concept of candy toy. I no no, no I I fully agree I fully yeah. agree I'm just like by technicality this might be food. <laughs> That's the thing is it's all built around technically. Yeah, if you wanted to take it to court. I, I I just I'm just saying that I'd be interested to see the outcome. You I'm sure you'd lose. One hundred percent sure. I'm not a lawyer, but damn, you better lose that. Uh because <laughs> I feel like even in Japan for Soto and Shoto, it's it's or and, and Yudo, it's sort of like a thing of, hey, technically we can do this. You'll let <laughs> us like un, under the rug or under the Yeah, under the rug or whatever, under you let us yeah. do this under the table. You'll let us do this. We're getting away with this. All right, cool. Um, so the tease for next time, apparently. Yeah, is uh, mini plot. Yeah. The kids and their gears. Uh, R- Ricky and um, 
Uh, Kataner. Sure. Yeah, I remembered their names. Yeah. You know what else I remembered? Uh, is the promise we made to talk about Yudo 2. Because that oh. did show yeah. up as a list. I, d- I yeah. will say, first up, uh, w- with regards to uh, the first wave, uh, it was very fun to read through this because, hey, guess what? I missed out on the pre-orders initially because I wasn't interested. Then, oh no, I started watching a show. I like these characters. Uh, Zimobi let us know that HLJ had it in stock, not nice. just pre-orders. So I was able oh, to get in on that. Congrats. Yeah. All right. Um. Hey, speaking of, well, I guess not, you know, in stock, but hey, pre-orders. Pre-orders went up for, yeah, many Yudo boxes? 2. Nine boxes out of 12, mm-hmm. I think. Um, so that means, I mean, you said I'm this writing comes up out a list. September? Huh? I'm writing up a list of speculative things. Oh, speculative things. We probably should have thrown it to uh, everybody, but... Oops. Yeah. yeah oops. I, I Legit, I... I... I probably could have done that for that one. It didn't come to mind at the time. I was just looking at the news that we had to cover when all yeah. I knew was that the the writer and Sentai stuff, and I just thought, no, nah, this is going to be a good enough episode. Yeah, don't worry. We have a full show anyway. But um, the... Man, the, the listing went up on, I want to say Wednesday or Thursday, but uh, nine boxes. What, how are we going to fill them? Obviously... It's going to be uh, two Kaiser in, I believe, uh, one of them. And then yep. two Kaisers Oron form, two Kaisers... Wait, Oron? Shinken no. form. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oron is correct? Okay, yeah, and Shinken form. Some um, would probably say Oren, but I, Oren? It, oh. it's, I, I, I'm of the mind of, it's clearly the word Ranger, just spell it right. <laughs> yeah, also, Oren is somebody else. Uh <laughs> Uh, so potentially those could get three separate releases. Mm. I feel like they will just because Yudo is all about, you know, the, the details. And mm. I feel like, you know, there, a, a, an argument could be made that the, the chest details and the head details are different enough between each form to justify putting them in a different one. That's true. I, I would, uh, throw out the argument of ryu soldier but this is a definitely a different situation than ryu soldier absolutely and you know they they i feel like they'd want to potentially reuse as many parts as possible mm. but that would that fit in with that maybe not mm. I don't but know. we're also we're also working off of uh what what episode are we on in terms of zenkaiju right now like I'm we're not even at the halfway 11, point. 11, 12, maybe 13. So we are far from being at the halfway point. So we're we're basing this off of what we know of Zenkaiju right now. Right, right. Um I also know that there are two other forms that are supposed to be showing up. I won't say oh. who it's for and what it's about, but Josh told me and uh apparently like, you know, uh magazine stuff happened about it last month or something. So we have Two other slots that that could take up since this only comes out in September. Um, so that is that is five so far. The other four, feeling like Stacy's are a mook. Mm-hmm. Accessory and then, set. Yeah, accessory set. We got room for Zenkai Red. Mm. He could be there. Or, you know what? You're probably just gonna throw in another Zenkaiser. Fine, <laughs> but I want a Zenkai Red. I hope it's Zenkai Red. <laughs> yeah, if, if it's if it's either one of those, and that pretty much fills out the wave. Yeah, and also we did uh, get that tease. Like um, Matt Hunt was talking to me uh, about the actor for Zenkai Red who said that um, he was sort of teasing that that might not be the end of Zenkai Red's story, uh, what we saw in that side story. So, if he ends up making it into the show, that could set a precedent for him to actually show up in the set. Uh, And also, it's it's not going to be that hard for them to just be like, 
Let's take our Zenkaiser mold and just put it in one color with mineral yeah, paint. Yeah, because I feel like I feel like Zenkaiser is the only one that is one color all the way through. Like he is the most traditional Yudo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like it's it's not a huge ask for them to do that one. I agree. I agree. But yeah, um, interesting speculation. Leave some of your guys' speculation in the comments or in the, uh, y you know what? Should we make it next week's topic? Uh, sure. Tentatively. Um, well, tentatively. Yeah, I guess we, All could, right. we could, we could do it. Because I was All thinking, right, cool. we, we don't know what's going to happen next week in terms of news, but eh, go ahead. Yeah, I, I mean, so here's, here's the caveat. It'll be next week's, uh, uh, topic. If there is enough time, mm. uh, but definitely leave it uh, in either the comments or uh, what I really want you to do is leave it in the discord where we have a specific channel for the uh, 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 podcast topics. So definitely leave those there. Um, or hey, if you're listening on an audio platform, you've got no choice but discord anyway. Um, so check that out. Um mm. Yeah, I, I believe that's it. I, I'm I'm also like looking at a a Twitter account that posts the magazine stuff. Um, I'm not really seeing any spoiler that I don't know about. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't know. It's I'm just going off of information. Maybe it wasn't scans. Maybe uh -huh. it was leaks or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, anyway, that's an episode. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it is. I uh, hope you guys had a good time. Thank you so much for listening. If you liked the episode, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. Or if you're on an audio platform, do the audio platform things. I don't know what they are, but I hope you do them or something. Do you? Do people leave reviews? Is that a thing? Could you do that? Would that be possible mm. for you to do? If you could, we would be very happy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also... Uh, links, as always, are in the description down below uh, to uh, how you can follow along with these episodes, um, some Zenkaiger merch that I designed myself, and also links to how you can help support the Black Lives Matter movement and the hashtag Stop Anti Asian Hate. Um, all that stuff in the description down below. Um, and pre orders and stuff as well, all of that downstairs. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. Keep it. But bang! I I couldn't really think of a good Zenkaiger ending. <laughs> wow, you 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 wound up like you were gonna do something great, and I was waiting for it. Was... <laughs> bang! Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>